The Designer, Redeeming the Time Brothers podcast, podcast by Gene Kissinger and Norman Kissinger, two brothers who spent their lives in ministry and raising large families. Our desire is to provide a digital place for those who long to belong. And as always, we want to leave a nightlight on for you. That nightlight is out of Psalms chapter 19, verses 1 through 3. The heavens declare the glory of God, and the firmament showeth his handiwork. Day unto day uttereth speech, and night unto night showeth knowledge. There is no speech nor language where their voice is not heard. He is describing here how the heavens declare the glory of God. The creation of God shows us something about the designer. I was watching the other day a man who was giving some drawing tutorials on one of the short form video social media networks and he would take less than three minutes and show you how to draw for example a giraffe. He would start out with inverting a triangle that would be kind of the head of the giraffe and then he would put kind of an M shape on top and a circle for the nose and then as he began to add in detail after detail ultimately you saw this stunning giraffe and then when he was finally done with the pencil work, he would take a pen and he would put in these finer details. And all the while, this this giraffe was coming to you in high definition. And I think that's how God speaks to us. The heavens declare the glory of God. It's how God signs his name anonymous sometimes. And it's a general revelation of God. It's the rough outline of what God is like. God is the designer. God is the creator. God is the artist. God is the scientist. God God is the God of infinite knowledge. God is the God of order. And it teaches you these basic things about God. But then he gives you the special revelation of God beyond the general revelation, which is him revealing himself to mankind by moving on godly men in the Old and New Testaments to pin down God's thoughts on papyra, and then that was saved, and ultimately we have that here now, that specific special revelation of God, so that we can know him even better. But the ultimate revelation of God was in the person of Jesus Christ, when the second person of the Trinity came down into this uh, sin-corrupted cosmos, uh, lived a sinless and perfect life, then died vicariously on the cross to provide you and I salvation full and free so that as we by faith enter into his work on the cross, we also can enter into heaven. What a good God we serve. Let's pray. Dear Lord God, thank you for your general revelation, your special revelation, and the very specific revelation of your son Jesus Christ as he has come to save us from our sins. Lord, we thank you that Jesus is the one who saves us from our sins. Watch out over us, God. Draw us close to your heart. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you. I love you, but Jesus loves you so much more. Have a great night.